are now listening to A to Z, the podcast with no authority. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. The guys are here. We're here in your ear. I'm Avid. I'm Dempsey. And I think I'm still Zeke. Right, Zeke? You are. Yeah, Zeke. Yeah, Zeke. Oh. He's going crazy Bro, this over is there. Getting, this is getting trippy. Nah, we're fine. <laughs> Rona, 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 Rona. Yo, Zeke left his apartment for the first time this week. How was that, Zeke? Oh, word? Word? Outside is open? Oh. Mask no. closed. Nah. <laughs> well, that's the first time I told you about, but now I've been out. Oh, I didn't Ooh. know. Uh, my bad. My bad. I I thought that you would never. You haven't been out this whole entire time. Okay. No. I wish. It's scary yeah. out it's there. Be, you know what it is? It's because <laughs> Zeke, Zeke and I talk, so I know that he's been outside. Bro. Y'all only talk when the the the, the, the mics not, are on. Not true. Mm. Not true. We chat. We chat it up Zeke? all the time in the chat. <laughs> Zeke. Uh, Zeke. I plead the fifth. Dis- mm. Disrespectful. <laughs> wow. Disrespectful. You, Variety. You know what else happened this past week? <laughs> no, what happened? Too much. Uh Avid walked to my house. Oh yeah, I saw that. Facts. I did. Yeah, he uh yeah. I did on right. Saturday, I think. Three miles. According to yeah, him anyway. It was a good walk. It was good yeah, it was a little less than an hour walk. It was a good exercise. Yeah. I, was still, I was like, did he visit you, Zeke? No, nah. It's too I don't, too far. Yeah. Well, I have to I have to drive to visit him. Nah. If I come if I come visit you, you come outside. No. That's why I didn't do it. I didn't <laughs> think he would come outside. No, you to, for, go home for him to come for him to come outside is like a mission. It's he got to take yeah. he got to take the elevator fifty floors down. <laughs> he has to get through three layers of security. And like I've, I, and, need, and I need a reason. I don't know if my man has a house key because I remember back in high school, his moms didn't give him a copy of the key because he lost it like three times in a year. Mm, I still have to get home myself and lock the door when I went to school. So I you did make it sound it. like he lives in a maximum security prison. <laughs> he, uh, I mean, it almost is. <laughs> is it really three levels of security? Is he exaggerating? He's obviously exaggerating. It's just the door. That's not true. It's the door, it's the security guard, and there's two doors. That's three levels. Uh, security guard is just there. He doesn't stop you. <laughs> mm. he just, he hi. Just, he's an illusion. That's what he wants you to say. Hi, mm. hi, hi. You didn't see anything. How are you doing today? You good? Okay, he even opens the door for people. So. Oh, what a gentleman. Does he have gloves and a mask on? I haven't really seen him. So he's more, oh. he's more like a doorman than a security guard. Basically, that's what, that's what I sound. Mm. Avid mm. don't know nothing about that. Avid lives in a castle. <laughs> that's true. I am like ten feet high. Avid, Avid's house is that one guy that wears a hat just to say that he's like one inch taller than you. That's your house, right? There. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty tall. <laughs> well, you sound insecure about your one inch uh, uh, house. Hey, hey. One inch house. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep it G. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So today's hey, episode is going to be current events. Um, Ooh, and currently. There's, a, there's been a lot that's happened this week so far, and uh, it's nowhere near over. So if we miss anything big, it's because we we, uh, we recorded this. Um, Thursday, middle, Thursday, Thursday. Uh, midweek. Uh, the, uh, Full uh, disclosure. Yeah. So um, uh, that's that. Uh, but yeah, th- this is kind of just breaking news. For us, anyway. Um, Gordo passed away? Just, just Fre- say Fred. Fred the Godson. Just, just say Fred. <laughs> oh. Fred the Godson, 35 years young. <sighs> passed away from, from the Rona. R.I.P. Um, yeah, fe- featured on some tracks with one of my favorite rappers, Joel Ortiz. And, um, he, you know, Fred the Godson, is, he's from the Bronx. So, it, you know, it was it's kind of sad that, yes. that he... That he that he passed away. Um, unfortunately, he was he was uh, very overweight, so it just makes me you know m- want to be even more health conscious. Um, like I saw, I still see people smoking cigarettes, and I'm like, this woman like took down her mask and took a puff, and I'm like, what are you doing, sis? Yes. Oh my God. All right, At we'll risk. get to Fred in a second. The, all right. So Avid, Avid, and I know because we 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 work still, right? Uh, what is up with that? 
That makes that was a low key shot at you, Zeke. No, no, yeah, that... it was it. It was. Hey, I mean, I can still understand just because I'm not going outside to work. No, but I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't believe it for myself that even in the midst of everything that's going on, even with people wearing masks, that they would remove the mask just to take a puff of a cigarette. It is not that serious. Yo, I mean, right? It's time to quit. I was gonna say, but that's not gonna make you quit. Like people nah, been it's an addiction. People been smoking for like who knows long, and nicotine is just. It's like a hard thing to kick for some people. But it's you just I mean? the, the action of, okay, you're wearing a mask to shield what what your germs and to shield po- other people's germs. But then From you're coming in <laughs> you're, and you're putting you're in these toxins out in the world. Yeah. So it's like it's counterintuitive. You know, honestly, honestly, that thank you for saying that. I'm glad you brought that up. I wanted to bring that up later on, but you just nailed that. that that's been driving me crazy. Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, a, hey. You know, she's just ne- making people sick with the cigarette smoke, but you know, she's not giving them the Rona. Yeah, you know that, that it makes <laughs> no sense. No, she just she's keeping the cancer to herself. She's the Yeah, she's she, she's picking her poison literally, basically, yeah, literally. Um, but yeah, puff, go back puff, to puff, puff, no pass. <laughs> exactly. Uh, not uh, anymore. Uh, okay, Unless so we all go- get tested. <laughs> that's that is another thing. Okay, I guess. I guess we'll get to Gordo later on in the show, since this is moving so quickly. I, no, just go what back you, to what he was talking about. Are you good? No, <laughs> no, but you brought Stop up playing these games. You brought up a good point about testing. Like, we, did you guys know that there is <laughs> so annoying? There, He's so annoying. Oh, All right. right, All right, whatever. Yes, yes. testing. Now we, we're on the testing. What's going on? No, the no, tracing. Guys, the, there well, is that's what a, they want to do. There is a take-home the test. Trace, yeah, and I'm not talking about you know, uh, Mr. DiGiorno take-home test. I'm talking about boo. I'm talking about a, Got him. A, 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 a stay at home test. A ta- a st- that was a high five, guys. High five, high, take, high five. A take home test <laughs> for. To, he hates us. He hates us so Wait, much. Wait, what kind of to, test is it? A, preg- a, a, a take home. A pregnancy test. Pre- it's a take home oh, test. I mean, you test could take that home too. To, That's true. That's true. You probably should take that at home. Yeah, don't do that at work, Dempsey. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? I hate you both. All right, whatever. Uh, Come no. on, man. But, whatever. Yo, your man starts <laughs> recording this call. Like in the corner, it says Dempsey's recording the call. It's for it's. Yeah, I'm. I'm uh, never mind. Corny joke. Insert corny joke here. All right. So this test, it's being developed for other states to take to uh, for their their people to take at home and and to figure out whether or not they have corona. But the one region that needs it the most in the United States, New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, we don't have access to it. How crazy is that? Did they, Why is did that? they have explanation yet? Or? They, they, I don't think that they're rolling it out here just yet. And that's why de Blasio has these other plans. Um, but I, I think it's crazy. Why would they develop? And the FDA went out of its way to emergency approve this new uh, test. But we're not getting it. I, I don't know what's so, going on. Okay, yeah, so what? I can, I can only, the way, like, only way I can think about that rationally, it would be for the sense of that since the, the population of New York is really large, it would probably make sense to give it to the other people first. So then we could probably jumpstart their economy and then come to New York. That's like, that's the only like rational thing I could think of, of why would they do that? My rationale is, is, is uh, similar. It has to do with the population. I think that they yeah. may not have as much. And if they want to roll something like this out, they probably want to do it to a smaller population first. So I, that makes sense. I could see that, but, but they should say that. <laughs> But they should say that, and not only that, they should stockpile them and give them to New York first because we are the ones, like I said, we need it the most right now. We, ha- we have the highest death rate, the highest amount of cases than any other state. We are, as, as they've been saying, the epicenter. Um, and uh, it, it's going back to our, our, our uh, person uh, that we were talking about before, Gordo, uh, Fred, Fred, his name? The Godson. Oh, I, 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 all right, I had only heard of him before. But I was never uh, like a fan of his music. He's like uh, Pop Smoke. Like everybody was talking about Pop Smoke when Pop Smoke died. I had never Cha. heard of the guy. Um, really, but, never uh, heard of him. I had Pop never Smoke. heard of Pop Smoke. Huh. And but the, but unlike Gordo, I had heard of Gordo before, but I just never listened to any of his music. But apparently, like Avid said, he's a pretty big deal. Uh, and I didn't know he's from the Bronx either, so that makes him even a more of, yeah. of a cultural impact. Uh, but what uh, BX hey. New York rappers, you know. Yo yo yo! Can I, can I get a yer? Yer yer yer. It's not for all that. Right. Not good. Proceed. <laughs> did you no? Did you? Did, I saw his last Instagram post because I looked him up on Instagram. Yeah, so I, I, yeah. Uh, he said he said he he said pray for me fighting this COVID ish. God is good. Yeah, nah, man. 
it's really sad um, that Cha. so many people, you know, it's 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 still hitting. Um, but no. in, um, I was say, what were you gonna say? Real saying? quick, there's still like hundreds of people still dying in New York City, man. So it's just yeah. nuts. Just because it's not as many as before doesn't mean it's still not hundreds. Right, right. I agree I, with you. I agree. Yeah, yeah no, nah, it's still. Yeah, I looked at. Um, I saw Cuomo today, whatever, and he was like. He was like, it's still not good. Like people are still dying. Like, um, yeah. we've been we've been steady for these past three days. I think, I don't, don't quote me on these numbers, but I think we've been steady by like a thousand lesser deaths. About, but like, I think thirteen hundred people are like still dying. Sheesh. No, no, no. Or my or my tripping. You tripping? It's yeah, like four hundred. Yeah. It's that it went down. That we didn't go. It might be positive cases. I'm looking. I at. think you're talking about cases. Cases are, are steady down. Yeah. Um, because, like, we, the deaths were, like, yeah, 700, well, 600, 300 the, now. It's, it's, it's the cases that yeah, yeah, I was yeah, looking yeah. at. The one thing the New York didn't do, we didn't hit 800 deaths. We got up to 799. Yeah. And then that's when Sheesh. it started going down, um, which is still pretty bad. But, uh, yeah, now uh, – but but here's the thing, right? I want to go back uh-huh. to this. I want to ask Avid this because, um, as I mentioned before, I, I, I am working – I actually returned to work. Um, I was working for nine days straight this past Nuts. week. Yo, my man's making money, Sheesh. which is why uh, the last episode was more of like a, a, a pull. Well, like not not a backup, but uh, it didn't have me as uh, as in the intro. For those of you guys who did listen to it anyway, yeah, we had, uh, that's why it was that's why it was better. That's why I was getting f- actually <laughs> got all the views. I got like five hundred views. Wow! Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just um, for the intro. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> no. Um, but uh, then they turned it off. <laughs> but I, I can't see it. We had to re up. So did I. I was like, oh, Dempsey. Uh. <laughs> it was my first time away from my house for more than a block in a, over a month, and I didn't. Wow. I didn't see anybody. Ghost town, wow. bro. Wow. Fast forward a couple of days later, as the numbers start to improve, and now everybody's outside. Not good. Would, Not good. Have you, Avid? Have you noticed the same amount of thing? Have you noticed more people outside now? I no, I actually have not. I don't think I've noticed more people outside. I mean, you you work in Manhattan. I haven't been in Manhattan since I don't even know, maybe beginning of March. Like I don't go to Manhattan, um, so no, because like I I drive I drive to work and um, bougie. I do I have been going for yeah bougie. I have been like going going for walks, but I really don't see that many people. I see a lot of cars out on like fast food lines, but I don't see so many people out. In the street. Well, Dempsey, it's funny that you said that because I've noticed more people outside when I look out my window. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay, Rapunzel. It's just me. No, no, because I've been like, you know, I have, I've Got been him. keeping track of this Dempsey. too. Because I was like, all right, you know, I just like to look outside, you know, put the window up. <laughs> but I'm like, oh, cool, no one's outside. Boom, boom, boom. Like recently, not because of the weather, I hope not, but there's been more and more people just walking outside. Like, I don't want to say in clumps, but they're like, just see them moving together more than usual. I'm like, oh goodness. Yes, I not clusters. I agree, but um, I do. The think flow that, is moving more. Like, oh. and, exactly. There's there's a little bit more traffic. Yikes! And it you you're right. You can't attribute it to the weather. It's been freaking cold this week, and it rained the other day really badly. Mm-hmm. Um, so I can't attribute it to the weather. I think people are getting too comfortable with the numbers, and I hope that's not the case, uh, because uh, that would be really bad if we slipped back. And they're saying that we may get a second wave. In the the winter, and it might Sheesh, coincide yeah. with the flu. Fauci said that, right? Uh, yeah. One, somebody, some one, somebody. I think it was actually somebody from the CDC. Oh man! Oh oh! You know what? I don't understand. What man? I don't. I feel like there's no right answer. Um, like I feel like I right, cool. We people stay home, not working. All these non-essential businesses are closed. People aren't gonna make money. You know they're gonna be struggling. Mm-hmm. Um, and and hopefully, you know, they don't they don't catch that Rona and they live. But on the flip side, mm-hmm. it's like okay, so fine. Let's let's open everything up and people start making money, and, and you know they can pay their rent, pay their bills. But what if people die? So I I don't uh, know that there is a right answer. Well, I don't even think there is. Well, now that you mentioned that, Ziki? this is the perfect segue into what do you guys think about Georgia? Because they recently Georgia Georgia <laughs> oh. I knew I knew you were gonna do it. I knew uh, you were gonna I, do it because you did it before. I knew you. I saw it coming. I was like, no. I mean, <laughs> did you think it was gonna be both of us? I saw you lean in too. So I'm like, oh no. <laughs> ah. I was like, oh no 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 no. Yeah, nah. George is tripping. Um, y'all, y'all peep, y'all peep any of that interview with uh Cooper? 
Anderson Cooper? Andy? No. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So. Talk about but, it. Yeah, yeah. He, nothing. He was just pretty much sunning them. Like, no. Um, See, but. But, you know, it's, 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 it's crazy. It's like. We don't know. This I don't is know. Like, it can't be. Because my fear of that is, like, people will then um, flock to that state if, there's, if they're having, like, cabin fever. You know, as it gets, uh, as it gets warmer, Georgia's more down south, and Florida may follow suit. Now, um, but this is, Florida is another my family one. In Flo- but, yeah. I was speaking to my family in Florida, and they're like, yo, they want to they wanna open everything. See, but so, I feel like I Georgia know, might be the test side. Like, <laughs> the test state? I'm scared for them. I wish it really wasn't, but, like, it seems like it. They're like pre Florida. They're trying like to see what can they do to ease people back into society, but like, is, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the like the case numbers in Georgia and all that, so I can't really give like a truly pure educated guess on it. But if it's like somewhat close to New York or even I don't know, just like some micro version of it, it's still not really like a safe choice to do that yet. It's like open the whole state, like I don't know. It's just I. You know what I think? I think that this is what happens when they steal an election. You remember Stacey Abrams was supposed to be the governor. And uh, now th- mm. that guy, Kemp, I believe his name is, he is a, a moron, okay? Um, they're going to open movie theaters May 1st. What movies are going to play? If th- th- I guarantee who? Hollywood's not going to send all their movies to one theater in Georgia. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. But who's going to... Who's going to pay for a ticket to go sit down in the movie theater Who? while you can just go home and sit down? Like, who? Like, this I is mean, not... You, exactly. Wait, 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 that's like, no, that makes no sense. Like, I'm already I, in my head, like, at home in my bed, and they're already, like, releasing movies on, like, the internet. Man. Like, I'm I'm sad. I really want to see In the Heights this year, man. Yes. I, I love that movie. That, oh, excuse me, that Broadway show. That, I really want to see I'm that movie. I'm pretty sure I'm going to love the Multiple movie, Multiple times in the theater. I'm going to see it. I already have it, like, how many times I'm going to see it and who I'm going to see it with. I'm going to see it with you guys. I'm going to see it with my I wife. I want to see it with different groups. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I want to see reactions. I want to take people who have never seen the play to see it. Same. Oh, um, my goodness. But yet, I probably, honestly, I probably see it like four or five times in theaters. Like, there's so many people I want to experience it with. I agree. I'll just see it like once or twice. That's it. It's, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. But, um, yeah, g- going into movies, okay, uh, In the Heights was postponed a year, so we got to wait with Fast and the Furious. That's going to suck. Um, what do you guys think of the Scooby Doo movies going straight to video on demand? Oh, yeah, it's May, May 15th. I think they knew it wasn't going to make that much coins. Wrong. Yeah. Quite the opposite, and I'm gonna tell you why. Well, if anything, more people are gonna buy. No, he now. just sunned me. He's like, uh, wrong. No, you are. Because so it's it's on demand or or it's for sale. Both. It's both. It's both. You can either okay. per- you can either rent it for two days or you can purchase the entire film. I think for two day rental, it's twenty bucks. If you buy the whole thing, it's thirty five. Twenty bucks. Maybe a this is maybe I watch maybe I watch it for free. This is what happened with uh with trolls. So troll. You're a troll. Trolls hey, world. You got him. It's been twenty bucks to watch a movie in my house. No, but listen, <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't but think more so more people did it than you would believe. I mean, trolls? I'm talking. Psh, stop I know, trolling I know. me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, got him. Jesus Christ. Tro- We're talking about you, the, anyway. <laughs> trolls went straight to DVD or straight to video on demand. It made estimated thirty million dollars at the box office. Box office. I'm talking about like yeah, 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 in, yeah. Sales. in digital sales, right. um, like opening weekend. The the projections for it before that it. Let me tell you, if it was released in theaters, it would not have made thirty million dollars. That is a fact. Well, that and plus, think about this: like, because of the, we're quarantining, all these parents probably ran through all the movies and stuff and doing things with their kids. So they're like, you know what? Boom! Trolls, quick, turn that on. Something new, something new for them too, because they're probably yeah. tired of all the old stuff. So like and now, like more people. I yeah. could see that. If I had a kid, like I'd probably make it a movie night, get like some snacks yeah. and goodies, and we watch it in front of the TV. We could pause it if we gotta go potty. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, exactly. It's it's more convenient, and I I could I could see it as a family like outing, and that's yeah. why I don't think Warner Brothers thought that they were gonna take the L on that movie. They saw the success that Trolls had, and they took their animated product, and now they're gonna re- try and replicate that success. Oh, so oh, so it's the same like same studio. No, no, no. It's Warner so, Brothers. Trolls, but was same DreamWorks. concept. Oh. Yeah, same concept. They're applying. Oh, gotcha. it, they're in hopes yeah. of making the same amount of money, and I think they're going to be successful because, look, 
within the, between the month that Trolls came out and the, the month that Scoob comes out, there's get no new content for kids. Kid, once again, kids are gonna kids want to get that itch. Kids need new content. I think it's gonna be a success. They should listen to the pod. Did you? They sh- wait, wait. Did you buy um Trolls Dempsey? I did. And the wow, baby loved gotcha. it. The baby, the baby <laughs> loved it, and um, he, yeah. he's uh, he's seen it several times since. He loves that right now. And onward, which I don't. If you uh, haven't seen onward, watch onward. It's on Disney Plus right oh, now. No, I haven't seen that. Watch no. it. It's so good. Really? Nah. I've been watching. Shout out to y'all. I've been watching Dave. Uh, okay. Hi, I'm Dave. I'm not. I Dickie. finished. The, I, it's super catchy. Super catchy. He's funny. The show's funny. I think it's a good. I show. told you, and 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 it, and it got rap in it, which you know I love. Um, I finished. I finished La Casa de Papel season four. Nice. AKA Money Heist. I heard that one's good. So good, bro! Phenomenal show. I finished Ozark season three. I haven't started. Wait. I don't. I don't do anything anymore. So I've been Wait. Netflixing and chilling by my darn self. So you still believe that it's one of the better? Uh, was it? Better than um, what you call it? Oh. Um, I ain't say better. Breaking I Mad? think it's up there. It's up there with Breaking Bad. You said Mad. better. I feel you did. No, you, I, I think, think it's a did, modern I version. Think you did say better. You said I, better. I, I, I might have to go and revisit the last episode. So. I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say better. You did. I would say it's a different modern version. I right, find that clip for me. Send it. <laughs> yeah, even if you did it, you, he probably told us in private though. If he, if it's not in any other podcast, I'm pretty no, sure. I don't know. Nah, think it's better. It's it's really good though. No, it's it's good. I, I would put it up there. It's good. But Breaking Bad. It's really good. I what? heard Better Call Saul really good. is good too. I mm-hmm. haven't seen it, but I hear that's also phenomenal. I heard it like it picks think... up like the like Breaking Bad. It picked up a lot in the later seasons. Yeah, nah. yeah, it did. I I, I want to go. I want to go watch that too. Better um, Call Saul. Mm-hmm. His name's Jimmy <laughs> in real life. He's such an idiot. He's funny though. He's probably one of the best parts of the show. Yeah. Um, comic relief. Yeah, he's great. he's that breath of yeah, fresh he air. Definitely. <sighs> He definitely is the comic relief. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's uh, there's actually a lot of content coming out. Uh, did you guys peep HBO Max? It's coming out Friends. next month. Well, the the, the Friends special oh. got postponed. postponed. No, but and they said that it's just an interview. I thought it was gonna be like an episode. No, Dude, they, isn't all the Friends gonna be on HBO Max? They're putting all the episodes of Friends. Yeah. All Looney Looney Tunes is getting a revamp, which I'm hyped a, for. Wait, a, another revamp? A, yes. Yeah, because I didn't I didn't like the one with Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. I didn't like how they looked, how they no, spoke. No, this one nah. they, they look different too. They look weird, but this one looks so much funnier. There's a it's kind of like PG, bordering on PG thirteen nah. with the things that I've they say. I always like the like the OG Looney Tunes. Those are my that's my favorite. Yeah, nah, OG man. OG Looney Tunes are the best. But I regardless, yes. I can always go for some Looney Tunes. Those last what are you talking? about the one with bugs and daffy that one's low-key great low-key it's very like a oh, i didn't watch it. very subliminal with their jokes i didn't i didn't i didn't, I didn't like it because i didn't like how they were drawn or how their voices sounded it just wasn't it didn't seem like original to me it was, it was different Wait, it is original yeah <laughs> or like the new or like or like teen titans go i didn't like that I, either see i like teen titans go because it, it was, is it, it was the same show, but it was just like they they it looked different. They made it for like kids. No, but it looked no, different, but it was still the same content. Bro, they it's still the same humor. It's I disagree. Dude, have you you got to watch it, man? I'm, I have watched it. They um, did the you got to see the movie. They did a movie, Teen Titans Go, the movie. It was, you. it was really funny. It was they actually got, really funny. Cuz those are the same voices, right? It's the same, same voice voices actors. from Teen Titans. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, it's all subliminal like those jokes like they shouldn't be in there for the kids. Like all of the both I of them. Hear, there's a show I never watched it. Is it maybe Adventure Time? That apparently they have a lot of adult jokes, but I don't. I don't yeah, watch. Adventure oh Time is great too. I you saw the whole series? I've only ever seen the first season. I've seen most of I, it. Yeah, it's crazy. I heard. I heard it has one of the best Bro. endings to a show ever. That and it, like the storytelling in itself, like the way they layered it, it's so. It's great. It's like it's it's deeper than just. Oh, I'm going on adventures, slashing people. Yeah, there's like real, real lessons. There, the first episode, I think, this is how I knew that I was getting into some stuff. Um, was they, I think they were talking to like a man made out of candy, and he got mm-hmm. scared and he popped. And I was like, "Oh, this isn't <laughs> Ooh, this yeah. isn't for kids." <laughs> the Candy Man, watch out now. You know what I'm talking about, Zeke? Yeah, this is yo. There's a lot of good content. If you, yeah, if you have a chance, rewatch that. Even um. Ah, Steven Universe. There's a lot of like different themes and they have uh, same sex kissing and whatnot in that es- show, right? Essentially, because but yeah, they're, they're all 
they're gems, but they all take the shape and form of women. So it's like a whole thing. It's really good to do with like acceptance and variety. Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I Cartoon Network definitely they had a good second act, if you know what I mean. Like after Hanna Barbera, oh. all their all their all their new content. Like after I think they're arguably their last good show was I think codenamed Kid Next Door. And then they kind of died out for a few, but then they came back with a vengeance. The regular oh, show? I like that show. Oh! 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 Did you know that... Did you ever seen the, the short film that it's based on? Nah. They have a short film? What? It's about the... It's like this this guy and his friend, they take, like, drugs. Nice. I can see that. The whole show and then, is trippy. And it, yeah, and then they, they become the characters. If I find what? it, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Wow, bruh. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They did have a, okay. That's a great, uh, great tangent we went on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but we're, we were talking about HBO Max. They're gonna have some really good content. They're gonna have all the episodes of Friends. Uh, Elmo is getting a late night TV I'll show. Be there for you. Uh, is it gonna be PG thirteen? Elmo uh, here. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, it's gonna be regular. Um, they have they have some really good. TV shows coming out. Um, what's the one that I saw? Well, my uh, next guest is. I didn't. <laughs> Big Bird. I didn't, I didn't write it down. Uh, but no, it's. G- See, it's for cookie. It's gonna be in the vein of like Jimmy Kimmel, but except like Elmo's doing it. So I think it'll be, <laughs> I think it'll be pretty funny. <laughs> is it gonna be like at 11 p.m.? I think it's gonna be late at night. Yeah. Like Elmo's tired or of this crap. Later in the day, anyway. So they want to like target kids at that hour? Shouldn't they be asleep? I don't have it. I don't know. I'm not the marketing team at HBO Max. <laughs> well, you're the one uh, hyping it up, advertising hyping it. it up. I know, I know. Right. Um, this is not an it, ad. This is not an ad. But they I do not will, pay us. HBO, cut us the check, baby. Actually, I won't have to pay for it. If you have HBO now or HBO Go, Go? you don't have to pay for it. If I'm not mistaken. So. Ooh. Well, I have one of those. Ooh. I'm sure you do. Ooh. So good. Uh, anyway, segueing off of entertainment and... Max. Uh, well, not really entertainment. There's one actual little thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, two things, but we can talk about this one because I want to know your thoughts on it. We spoke about it earlier this week in the so, chat. A-Rod and Jennifer Lopez boop, boop, boop. possibly oh. buying the Mets. Jenny from the block. Right, right. Jenny from I, the block. I read today that... That J.P. Morgan is backing them up, so like they're gonna have some funds to uh, put a possible bid. J.P. Morgan. I mean, I'm 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 for it. I think it'd be yeah. dope. Two relatively young and hip people. Yeah. To, you know, to own to own a team, it'd be kind of dope. And I know A. Rod's not from the Bronx, but they from the Bronx. He played for the Yankees. But is it is it he from New York though? I think he was born in New York. I, much of I, I don't know. Man. I know he's I'm I know sure he's he Dominican. Was. So and J-Lo's Puerto, J-Lo's Puerto Rican from the Bronx. Um, yeah, she used to have a little, but now she has a lot. So, like, don't be fooled by the rocks that she got. All right, we have to cut her a check for that one. So, uh, <laughs> shout out, shout out Castle Hill. On the six. Six line. Ooh. Right. Yes. Come on, bro. That's her first I album. I would give you a woo if, if you were here. Anyway, <laughs> the, I think, all right, so I'm not a huge sports fan. Like, obviously, I'll root for the Yankees because I'm born in the Bronx uh, and raised in the Bronx. But I don't, I don't, I don't know. see. There's, do you guys remember when Jennifer Lopez and Ben so, Affleck were dating? Yes. She dated Diddy. She dated Mad People. She's bro. been around the block. Badoom. Badoom. <laughs> Got her. I'm Take sorry, that, J Lo. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't going to do nothing. Why you play Jenny like you, that? We, we hit she her. Ain't on the J Lo. <laughs> Ooh, uh, that right. was bad. That was yeah. you should probably edit that out, bro. That was so bad. Now, keep that so we go off flame them. <laughs> oh no, flame them oh, comments. Anyway, anyway, right? Do you remember there was a World Series that so, Jennifer Lopez? It was the Boston Red Sox and the New York Yankees, and uh, Ben Affleck and J Lo were there sitting next to each other, and she had the Yankee hat on. <gasps> and, uh, ben Affleck had the Boston Red Sox hat on. Stay <gasps> right That's side love, by side. That's love, bro. Wow. Love. Uh, but no, no. Wow. so I always thought that she kind of had an allegiance to the Yankees, but it doesn't seem like, or maybe A-Rod changed her mind. Cause, Bro, who's got no, she ain't got the money to buy the Yankees. Was, Come on, relax. This is what happened. <laughs> right, right. This is what happened. She was with Diddy and she realized it's all about the Benjamins, baby. But she was with Ben Affleck after that, bro. 
But anyways, if you own any team, with- especially a New York team, who cares if it's the Mets or the Yankees, bro? I, Come on. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I, and why we go hard. We do. Too I hard. Absolutely. And I think I might. I could potentially you understand. become a, a fan of the Mets. Because I think what they need is just Band a better. Bandwagon. I am. A, I'm a total bandwagoner. Uh, but I think that they might actually just need better management. And A-Rod could be that person. Who knows? I mean, I, yeah, I, I, mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I mean, personally, like I'm, I'm off in New York. Um, I was gonna say, yeah. Like, the only times I'll root against the Mets when is they play in the Yankees. If the Yankees are playing. Exactly, them, that's yeah. it. When, when, when the Mets was were in the World Series, I was rooting hard for yeah. them. Remember, I was hanging with my pops. Remember, we went to Buffalo Wild Wings and we were watching the game. Like Woo-hoo. I wanted them, to, I wanted them to take it. You know, W for New York is a W for me. That's what I'm saying. What's up? That's, Gotta support see, all New York understand. teams. That's, you know. Right. Unless they're playing each other, then right. you, know, you got to go for your team. But besides right, that. Right, right, right. Like Giants over Jets. But other Ooh, than that, you know, even I, want, the Knicks, I want them both to Even win. the Knicks. We got to support the Knicks. Yeah, yeah. Nick, yeah. Jesus. Knicks and Nets support both God. of them. But it's Knicks over Nets, though. Knicks over Nets. It's, 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 well, but the they Nets make it hard. Up, and his and and checks over strikes. The Nets used to be a part of New Jersey. So what was your logic back then? But that, they're that not. New Jersey. But, but I'm talking, We're talking about talking now. back then, though. New Jersey. They weren't a factor. Right. That's it. What's wrong with you? It's like the tri-state area. What's wrong with you? The Knicks Knicks will never be good. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not a sports fan. 86 Knicks. 86 Knicks. What's up? Hey, hey, hey. In the 90s, they had a nice little run, too. But listen, (laughs) one day. They didn't even. They haven't even won in our lifetime. You know how sad that is? Exactly. You know. That's sad. You don't have to know anything about sports to know that the Knicks. Nor have the Mets won in our lifetime. Sad. They were good in the 80s. It must be blue. Bruh. It must be blue and orange. (laughs) That is true. Yeah. Blue and orange oh, teams man. never yeah. won. It's, oh, it's never win. Yeah. Do you know? Fun fact. They're actually the Knickerbockers. The, the, you know the Knickerbockers. That's what I said. I didn't say that. You said Knickerbockers. With a, oh, with a P. Psh. Oh, you're yeah. right. I did. I did. I so, did, did you know? Stuff. And they're the Metropolitans. Nah, I know. I did. I did. I did. It's the, yeah, it's the we, Metropolitans, yeah, not thing. the Mets. Yeah. I'm just making us, sure. Just us New Yorkers now. Yeah. But for you non New Yorkers, hopefully, I have it educated y'all. Oh man, yeah. Uh, but yeah, A Rod and J Lo. You know, it's all. It's also weird. I think about them. They're so, like two of the most popular Hispanic celebrities, and I would have never pictured them together. I would have never pictured that I mean, they would end up together. Mm, there's a lot of. I, I was gonna say Mark Anthony was probably a little right. more, you know, up there before no, A Rod. Bad money, bad they money. Have, they have kids together, but did, yo, did you ever see Ozuna? There's a. Romeo. Like now, uh, I was gonna now, say that's but now. The, yeah. uh, old, older celebrities. There's actually a photo, and it's hilarious. Uh, There's a, t- you know, they did the 2019 challenge. You remember that? Where you showed a picture of yourself in 2019, 2009. No. Yeah, no, that was a, that was a, that was a scam for the for the Russians and the government to like yeah, see, know you ten years and ago. See your progression. I yeah. Mm-hmm. Correct. You a fool. Me and Zika you, woke any, fool. Wake up, dude. Anyway, wake up. Anyway, I, I didn't do it. But big fool. I didn't do it. Looking like a fool with your on the ground. picture on the gram. Yeah, yeah, that too. Oh. Yeah, picture on the gram. Picture on the gram. Looking like a fool picture with your on picture the on the gram. Ten year challenge, bro. How do you manage? All right, go ahead, go ahead. Um. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> there was there's a hilarious photo in 2009 with J Lo and Mark Anthony were were married, and they're standing next to A Rod at a Yankee game, and they all took a picture mm. together. Then they they mm. did one in, t- in 2019. Then they did one in 20. <laughs> then they did one in. <laughs> they did one in 2019. <laughs> then they did one in 2019 where it's uh, J Lo and A Rod together at a Mark Anthony concert. Mm. I, I thought that was really funny. That's, that's that was- actually that's pretty spicy right there. Yeah. You could so you do you yeah, think 2019. Do you think um, A Rod was planning to steal J Lo in no. that 2009? Your girl. Mm. I, I like them together. Mm. I do like them. That's good, Zeke. That's real that, good. That is a good. That's, put, that's put some, the uh, puzzle together. You know, you smart. Galaxy yeah. brain right there. Mm-hmm. The, IQ mm. five hundred. I wonder. Steven's universe? Nah, Zeke's universe. What's up? Boom. Oh. I wonder. There's one thing that's evident from J Lo's dating history is that she Talk cannot settle down. Mm. So do you? I wonder. Wow. You think they'll end Flaming up together? The woman? You think they'll end up? Canceled. Together? I, I'm not. Whatever. 
you gonna you gonna write that to JLo? Like you gonna have like a no, therapy I, I, session? No, I'm with asking. Her? I'm asking you guys. Do you guys think that they'll they'll be together in the long run? And if they buy so. this team, if they well, buy this they, team together, they're gonna get married. I, I, I mean, think so. She was engaged to Ben Affleck like way back. How many? Then. Wait, dead serious. How many times she been married? Because I I once read that she had enough rings to fill out the gauntlet. I mean, I only know personally of um Mark Anthony. I guess what I'm trying to say is that like basically, if they buy this team together, they're pretty much stuck together. Right? Uh, like, not necessarily. It's like you a binding. Know. People buy houses no. together and they get a divorce. There's been times when like p- people like bought the team together and then they got a divorce and then like they literally sh- like split the shares of the team between. That's the, probably what they would do. I guess the divorce. I, I don't know. I feel, split the team. I feel even though I felt good with her and Mark Anthony, I feel good. I feel good about her and Aaron. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they each Excuse have their me, own Alex. shares too. I call them Aaron. I was about to them. say that's a neck. That yeah. is. That's, wow. That's, that's your gill. Aaron. I know. Aaron. Pause. All right. Y'all, y'all oh, flame yeah. me in the comments, guys. I yeah. Anyway, um. So I, one last thing I wanted to talk about. This is why the reason I was late today. Um. Before so, shooting this, how you guys feel about Travis Scott? Oh, you, oh, you, oh! You saw the joint on Fortnite. I don't. Pl- I don't play Fortnite. I don't. I mean, it was a, apparently he had a new a new music. Oh. That's what. That's so what they dumb said. this he down track. for me. I've never played Fortnite in no, my yeah. life. So they did a concert. Wait, wait, wait. Fortnite? Wait, yeah. Please explain like the total situation yes, yeah. first. Okay, I don't know what I, you're talking about. So Fortnite is a is a game. You know I Fortnite. Think, Both of you guys yeah, know I what feel Fortnite like is, right? The majority of you probably know what that is. Uh, but ba- if you don't know, a, now you know. It's a battle royale game where you drop you drop on an island. Air it's drop. free to play. It's free to play. Um, you drop on an island Airdrop. with with 99 other people, and you have to be the last one alive. Last man standing. That's how you win the game. Last man. Last anyway, man. They, they do winner. They, they, they have like this. They've kind of since they came out like almost three years ago. They kind of built up the, uh, like a lot of lore. So there's a lot of characters lore. and events that happen in game. <laughs> and uh, don't do that. <laughs> Tons <laughs> of Ta- lore. Sorry, sorry. No. Um, quarantine. Quarantine. Perfect. Quarantine. <laughs> So essentially, what they do wow. is they from they have they have a bunch of end of season events. They have different it's seasons. End. It's a heist. They, they also season. throw in they also throw in concerts. Mark concert. Did a concert last year. <laughs> <laughs> Marshmallow. Oh my god. So anyway, Tory not Tory Lanes. I was about to say Tory Lanes. It's Tory Lanes. <laughs> Travis Scott did a concert. They even have a skin like you can dress I saw up that. as Tor- as Travis Scott. <gasps> but they took away his nipples. It looked very weird. Oh, wow. This uh, is coming. Turn crazy. up. So, but anyway, the, the they added his lore. They added Travis Scott lore to the game. So, Astro World Astro. is like a planet. Wait, wait. And, and an album. They, they, wait, wait. They added Astro World to Astro, Fortnite? Yeah, but a- Astro World is like a planet in Fortnite. And it, the, <laughs> a part of the live performance is that the planet shoots down to a stage and then... It, Travis Scott came out and it was really I sat down I like the events because I think they're kind of cool they add depth to the game it's different you don't see this yeah, in yeah, a lot yeah. of other video so games so are you so I went I, during this time uh, no 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 no, no so you, it's, you watch the like, concert it's like a, a um what do you a game mode that they have only during the event so everybody queues into it and you can fight for like the first five minutes but then they stop the fighting so yeah, that you, you have nothing to the else concert. Bef- yeah. to focus yeah so it came down the, the planet came down it was really cool and then you heard, <laughs> you, you heard sicko mode turn like, up drake, did drake come it, through they had no they showed they they let you listen to drake's part but then when travis scott came out this guy was a giant he Whoa. was like step, stepping on people every time he would step on you you would fly up in the sky and that's would pretty cool around. speaking of and then it took you no, no, what? I was just saying, I got to see Sickle Mode in, in, in concert, live with both of them. But go ahead. I, I'm i not a huge Travis Scott fan, but I really like the... I liked also? it, and I think that the songs that they had were good. He played uh, Goosebumps, uh, then they then they closed it down with the ending of Sickle Mode. Oh, like hey, a light. Like a light. Like hey. a light. Yeah, so they and, uh, to pay strikes. Drake a huge check for that, too. No, no I mean, Sheesh. maybe, but... Um, Splits, he, man. Definitely some royalties... Uh, it was like ten minutes long. It was really cool. It's very abstract, and uh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Travis Scott. But what do you? What do you? My question to you guys, right? Better what do you open guys? Up what do you guys window. think of stuff like that? Like uh, Travis Scott allowing them to that do that. Like, such a, it's definitely some. Co, it's definitely some co-branding. I'm imagining there. that they I mean, cut him a check, and he's like, "Yeah, it doesn't cost him anything, <clears throat> except." And that I mean, kind of falls in line too with his everybody like, getting a check. You know what I'm saying? The label, too. him, everybody. 
it's a it's and a win it's for everybody. But I think it yeah. probably hasn't affected everybody's in those young new minds. kids exactly. now. Exactly. And especially during window. during these Rona times, it's like I I have a literally a captive audience. It's great, great marketing. Mm-hmm. I think Good. it's great marketing. And plus, they don't. I'm sure it costs a lot of nothing. Fortnite people. And you and this, you said this is free, so this is free to watch. It's a free how many event, people were live? Also have, Do you know or no? I don't. But here's the thing: it's a recurring event. So the first time it played was today, and it'll be playing. They'll have an encore performance every day until Sunday. Okay, so, oh, well, that's sure nice. he got some that's kind cool. of six figure check for none of his time. Yeah, yep. no, it, but Fortnite's been on fire. They have Deadpool this season. You could, yes, you buy, I saw. Yeah, if you buy the battle pass, you could be you could unlock Deadpool and the Deadpool banana. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Deadpool banana. I th- I think I'm not sure. I know there's customizable sk- styles for the skins. Um, but yeah, but, see, but a, that's I'm, the point though. Like, yeah, th- it's th- a free it's game, free, but now but you have to pay to do that stuff. Exactly. Yeah, bunch so of games. bam, with what Travis is, Scott the, too. What do they call free, freemium oh. games. Premium. Yeah. There's a bunch yes. of games like that. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of like the phone games mm. are generally like geared like that way. Yeah, you know, that's cool. Cliff for Travis Scott, man. And then yeah. p- probably more people downloaded Fortnite who didn't like already have yeah. it. Boom, driving more people. They get hooked on the game, buy the battle pass, more money for them. And then maybe if they were like real smart, I would do like some kind of deal in the contract. Like any more new purchases that you get after the freaking concert. I want to check off of that too, but who knows if they're doing anything like that? Yeah, no, no, no you're right. That would be a good um, catch in the contract, or at least for the week. Or... I'd be like, "Yo, the yeah. week, this week that I'm doing all this, any new things and any more people buy and revenue that you gain, <laughs> cut me a check." Could be. No, nah, yeah, it's absolutely. Uh, uh, but yeah, that was that was uh, that's all the big stuff that's happened this week. Uh, is there anything else that I left out? Uh, anything you guys uh, want to talk about? I mean, I don't think so. I feel like I feel like our time is uh, I feel like our time has come to um, an end. I mean, oh, I mean, I hit. This is not relevant at all. I mean, I hit I hit a thousand views <laughs> on one of uh, one of my songs on YouTube. Let's go! Congratulations! Until burr, 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 burr. So go. Akon hears it, right? Yeah. Right? And I Akon sues you <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. Um, That's my music. Oh, we're oh, we're we're in the article now. Maybe we could put that in the uh, in the bio. Publish, publish, publish. Right, right. We're published now. Let's go. That is pretty cool. That's cool. Cool. Variety. Variety. Not the magazine. Variety. Wow. You know, you know, th- there are some uh, PR firms that say uh, once you start getting published, about you should start building your own website. So Ooh. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. Just saying, just saying. Talk to our tech guy about that one, yeah. right? <laughs> our editor, D. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe first we need to uh, tra- trademark us. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But, but touching you saw on my check on that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I. Uh, I. Uh, yeah. We could. Use, we should use our stimulus checks, guys. Yeah. The trademark. Those, got those it. of us who got it. <laughs> uh, I guess they got you. Got me. Diablo. Uh no, but uh, to segue off what you're saying, uh, so you 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 think people should be excited about your YouTube channel? You think something cool is gonna drop <laughs> in the next couple of days? I mean, probably. I'm trying. I'm trying to drop mm. something by this weekend. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I heard that. Get ready. Get ready. Just, just. I don't know. I think I'm gonna feature Akon again. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Let me ask you this before we, before we go. Do you think that had we not been forced to self quarantine, that you would have done this, or you would have just kept it on deck? Nah, I would. Yeah, no. There, I don't think there's any way I would have done this because um, I feel like coronavirus is just heavy on my brain, and it's like your release. I, yeah, it's just like yo. I don't know. I feel like it's very therapeutic for me, and it's just like it's a way. It's a way to get it out in like an entertaining fashion, but also like. Yo, like it's 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 messing with my head. Like it's it's really getting to me. Like you know, listen to Corona thoughts. You know, avidly what, raps. What are you gonna What are you gonna do when this is all over and there's no more Corona to talk about? I mean, I don't know. I I, I, I think question. I may I think I may talk about um maybe like current current events. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. I think well, I think keep... it's something. I think it's something I want to keep on doing at least yeah. like at least something monthly. Please, at the very keep least, on. don't stop. Yeah. Don't yeah, stop. I don't. I don't want to stop creating. I mean, we do this joint every week, so I don't see why I can't do that. To me, it's mad, it's mad work, though. 
It's not. It's fun. I love it. I love you guys. Um, no, no, I love doing. I love doing this too. I, I love the song making uh, it to edit it. Oh. Oof. Now you know what I go through. I know. Praise Yay. you. <laughs> Look at D. When we do it. Nah. Um, no, nah, but I, yeah, this is, this is a blast, always a blast to catch up with you guys. Um, I think that is all the time that we have for today. Um, oh. who knows what we'll talk about next time, but if you guys have anything that you want us to talk about or address specifically, yes. you know, our socials, if you don't know our socials, you guys want to tell them what they are. It is a D Z underscore, underscore podcast. podcast on Twitter and Instagram. IG, IG, and our, and, oh, and our, cash app, cash app, A D Z P O D, A D Z pod. Our A-D-Z our Gmail, pod. our Gmail is A D Z dot dot pod at uh, gmail dot com. That no one emails us at. Yeah, remember <laughs> we we got like what like five emails probably. We get spam emails though sometimes. Somebody yeah, gonna... emailed us by followers. I could oh, buy like a thousand followers yeah. I think for like a hundred bucks. Oh, we're gonna we. We're, we got invited to a susu. No, I'm kidding. Susu. No, a blessing loom? Oh, we should talk about that. <laughs> uh, next right, time. Too late. Oh, too, many next time. Sc- too many scams, guys. Too many right. scams. Don't get scammed. Don't get scammed, yo. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Guys, uh, take it away, Avid. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Avid. I'm Dempsey. I'm Zeke. Also, shout out to all our, you know, essential workers out there. And sure. again, RIP. Rest in peace to anybody. Who's passed away recently as well? Word. Yes, and stay safe out there. And remember, you're essential in the eyes of the Lord. Amen. Peace. <laughs> out. Oh, I'm Zeke. Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. As always, if you liked what you heard, please make sure you rate us five stars, subscribe, and share us on all of your socials. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for topics, hit us up at our official email, a to z dot pod at gmail.com, or on our socials at a to z underscore podcast. Till next time.